Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. I really missed you last week. It's always hard when I'm away. I know that you say it's hard for you, but it's also hard for me. Hi Patricia, you're the first one popping up here tonight. I've got Kathy, hi Kathy. And D, and um, it's funny because I don't have my glasses on, but if I keep myself about this far away from the screen, I can read your comments. How crazy is that? I don't understand it. I'm going to get myself pulled up here on my iPad. Hi, Heather. Hi, Deb. I've got another Deb coming in. Thank you for the welcome back. I really appreciate it. Okay, look at that. We are, oh, I need to, well, let me see. We are golden. I think I'm going to keep it this way so that I can see more of your comments and less of me. I don't need to see me. You need to see me. <laughs> Aris, I'm so happy to see you here. Okay, we were just down in your beautiful Florida. And can I just say that I think we have a new obsession. <laughs> We, oh, thank you, Darlene. Darlene says you look all rested. I really am. And I'll tell you guys, when I got back from Florida, I felt like I wouldn't need to sleep for like a month <laughs> because we totally chilled out. Um, we didn't do anything really exciting. We didn't like race around trying to meet this schedule and that schedule because I really hate that. Um, so we just had a really good relaxing time. We hung out at our resort. We hung out at the pool. We had a swimming pool and we had somewhat of a beach. The beach, like the, the sand didn't go into the water because it's rocky, but they put sand up and put some lawn chairs out and some hammocks. So I was good. Thanks. Lisa loves my shirt. This is a really old one. I've had this for a long time, but I like it too. It's um, real different, right? So anyways, our vacation was fabulous and the keys were beautiful. It was a little busier uh, than I expected. And I don't know why. Like um, the, the, the main highway that you drive down, it's wall to wall. Like businesses, restaurants, um, marinas. It's just like constant all the way down. We did go down. We stayed in Marathon, which is like once you leave the, I don't know if they call it the mainland of Florida and go on that long highway that goes through the ocean. Once you leave that, we stayed halfway between that and the Keys, which is the end. So we stayed in Marathon. It was really nice. We really liked it. But we did drive down to the Keys one day. And we really didn't know what to expect. But there they had some areas in the Keys where it was all like shops and and places to eat and bars and stuff like that where people, if you've ever been to Nashville, there's just like a lot of people walking around or Vegas, lots of people everywhere, you know, it was kind of like that. So we had heard that people rent golf carts and so they, they go to the rental place and rent a golf cart and you go buzz around on that down in this area. So we're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was just me and Steve, Diana. So we went to this place. They didn't have any small golf carts left. All they had were the giant ones that fits like six people. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of a lot of money. And so I was doing it while Steve was someplace else. So he came up to the counter and I'm like, yeah, all they have is the big ones. He's like, whatever, let's just get it. And as he was, as he was like filling out the paperwork and stuff, I almost pulled the plug on it. Like I almost went, nope, too much money. Seems ridiculous. Don't do it. But I'm like, oh, whatever. We're on vacation. <laughs> Stupidest purchase ever. <laughs> it was just so dumb. So what we did is we parked our car in a parking lot and we drove this golf cart down the road. We thought there'd be trails and stuff and all that. We drove this golf cart down the road. By, with the cars and uh, we went into a parking lot where we could have parked the car and then we walked to the places and when we were all done we walked back to the golf cart got in it and drove it back to the place for $230 <laughs> that's just the stupidest thing ever and we are still 
like harassing each other about it. You know, like like Steve will say something. I'm like, well, at least it's not a two hundred thirty dollar golf cart. <laughs> Anyways, don't get the golf cart and the keys. It was just dumb. <laughs> Ooh, somebody's daughter just got back from the Keys. Yeah, we we did. We really had a really nice time. It was it was wonderful. Um, yeah, so I'm I I was just very grateful for the vacation. I really needed a vacation. And Steve, I don't think he knew it as much as he needed a vacation, but I knew he needed a little vacation too. So, did you see the motorcyclist that drives around with a large parrot? No, I didn't see that. We did not see that at all. Um, we ate a lot of food. One night, I was in a food coma, like literally. I ate so much that I thought I was going to have to, you know. <laughs> I don't do that. But it was pretty close. It was horrible, like how much food I ate. But we had seafood omelets. Like that sounds really kind of gross, but they were amazing with shrimp and lobster and scallops in them in an omelet for breakfast. It was crazy. Lots of key lime pie. I even had frozen key lime pie dipped in chocolate on a stick. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, I came home and I gained a whole two pounds, which I was really shocked about because I ate a lot. But it was mostly seafood. And it wasn't like all deep fried, so that was good. But um, yeah, I didn't gain much weight, so that was good because I'm... I, you know, I have a lot of problems controlling myself with the food, especially when I'm on vacation. It's like I just want to keep eating no matter what. Judy, my flights were fabulous. We flew Allegiant Air direct out of my little hometown airport, which has like, I don't know, eight, six, eight gates. And we flew direct right into Fort Myers and grabbed our rental car and went on our way. It was, it was really, really good. So did I see the sunset at Mallory Square? Yeah, that's where we went, Mallory Square. Um, we did see the sunset there. We also went to the Sunset Grill for breakfast and lunch a lot. And we would watch the sunset there. And also Lazy Days. That was another place that was really good. And the Keys Fishery. Oh my gosh, the food was amazing. So um, it was really fun. We had a really great time. Nothing weird or bizarre happened. Only the stupid golf cart incident. <laughs> We didn't go snorkeling. We didn't go on any boat trips. I wanted to do a little, um, one of those airboat trips in the Everglades, but we just didn't have time, so we didn't do that either. And now, um, I was, since I've been home, I was looking at them, and they're like $270. That's a lot. I don't know if I need a boat ride for that kind of money. So anyways. <laughs> All right. Um... You guys saw my smiley face on the cheese earlier today, so I thought I would have a really hysterical um, little story to tell you about that. So I walked downstairs in the kitchen, and Steve's getting ready to grill a couple burgers, right? And can I just say, he's been cooking a lot and taking really good care of me, so that's been nice. And so he's got the, the buns laid out with butter on them, because we like our buns toasted. And then he's got two pieces of cheese laying for the two, two um, cheeseburgers. And so... I pinched an end off the cheese and ate it because, well, I was kind of hungry. And then I, I, I thought, oh, I'm going to take this cheese. There's a knife sitting right here. And so I cut eyes and a mouth in it. And so you've got the smiley face on the cheese, right? And I thought, oh, this is going to be funny. So I thought I'd hear something when he came in the house because I came back upstairs. But I didn't hear anything. He didn't say nothing. And I went to, he said, you know, the burgers are ready. And I went down and... um we're eating and he's saying nothing about the smiley face cheese. And so then I said something about the cheese. I said the cheese is really good, thinking it would spark his memory. But it didn't. He just went on to say, yeah, it's the extra sharp cheddar and I really like it because it's kind of dry. And I'm like, really? This is all I'm getting out of him? So then, so then I said, well, I think it's kind of smiley. <laughs> and then he goes... Yeah, you know, it had a smiley fit. And then he goes, did you do that? Like, he thought the cheese came like that. So it was just stupid. I thought it would be a lot funnier. And I thought, you know, I don't even know if I can, I don't even know if I can stay married to somebody who didn't think that was funny. Like, it's really pushing a limit there. <laughs> Hi, Sandra, you found me. Yay! Jean says the airboats are amazing and well worth the money in the Everglades. Okay, that's good to hear 
because it would certainly be better than a $230 golf cart. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but that's good to know. Thank you for telling me that. So, John update. Who's ready for a John update? So, Steve came up here yesterday and gave me the scoop. He's like, I have John info. We just chatted. And I said, oh, how did that come about? Because it didn't snow, and that's the only time they really talk is if they're mowing lawns or it's shoveling snow. And he said, um, John was in his backyard, so Steve said hi to him over the fence, you know, kind of like Wilson, remember that? And um, he, he asked him, he's like, there's a black truck out there. Well, here John bought a new truck. He got himself a brand, well, it's not brand new, it's used, but a, a, a new black truck. And then... Steve said something about his work van, and um, oh, Sarah is on her way home, jumping on a plane in 10 minutes. I hope you had a wonderful time, Sarah. Sarah was down in Florida, too. She's one of my team members. So um, the reason why John doesn't have any lettering, he took the lettering off his work truck, is because the company got bought out. And it got bought out a while ago. And they just told everybody, get the lettering off the trucks. We don't want you wearing your logo wear from the other company. And then John told him that he is going to retire in April. Boom. So that's big news. John is retiring. And he got a new truck. And his company got bought out. He didn't get fired. So that's good, right? That's my John news. What else is happening? Um, da, 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 did you guys see Val's dancing mermaid swimming suit? It, when you get off of this, if you missed it, go to my page, a stamp above dash your creative coach, and scroll down until you see baby Val in her little mermaid swimming suit. She loves music and she's doing this little jig thing. It is so hilarious. So Jared sent it to me this morning and I asked him to, um, it was on Snapchat, so I asked him to message it to me so I could share it with you guys because it's so funny. Yeah, Mickey, that was her. <laughs> so cute, right? Oh, look, I have a faceted gem on my shirt. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Val is the cutest Judy. I know, she's just adorable. So here's another really gross story. I, I've been taking the... Um, the cover or the case off of my phone, you know, this thing. I took this off of my phone because the last couple of weeks it's been shutting me off and it's because my phone is overheating. We figured that out last time. And so I took the case off so it wouldn't get all so hot and I think I'll have to get a new phone, but that's another story. Anyways, when I took the case off, it was all wet. It was all wet here and it was wet on the back of my phone. I'm like, what the heck is that? It was spit. Gross, right? Val had my phone at Molly's birthday party yesterday and she was chewing on it and she drooled all over in it. And, ugh. Anyways, lucky I love her so much. <laughs> Nobody drools in my phone except Val. <laughs> okay, Molly's birthday is today. She is 10 years old and some of you guys sent her birthday cards, and I just want to tell you, she was so excited. Her mama was so excited. They got the biggest kick out of the fact that you guys sent birthday cards to Molly. So, thank you so much. It was adorable, and they were beautiful. I saw them all. Anna is doing so much better. She had a birthday party for Molly yesterday. She is good. She got the staples out of her back. She is doing really, really well. She still can't lift any weight, but she looks so good and seems good and says she's feeling good. And so, whew, yeah, um, she's doing really, really good. So, um, and it's Molly's birthday. She's 10. And I wanted to tell you guys, I just, I got two screens now. I got a laptop right here and I got a big 24 inch monitor up there. That's how cool I am. No, I just need two screens. It really saves a lot of time. It's because I can't remember to go from this screen on this computer to a different window on this computer. I have to keep bouncing back and forth because I can't remember things. So now I can be working on this one and I can look up there. That's why. <laughs> so anyhow, I just want to let you guys know that 
I just released my March kit class this morning and I'm going to be using the welcoming window kit. Let me see if I can find that quick. Did I? Oh, I was going to make a card with that tonight for you guys and I kind of forgot. Maybe I'll use that. I've got a blog hop this week. Yeah, here it is. This one right here. It comes with this beautiful stamp set and then these fabulous dies, you guys. There are so many possibilities with this one. I'm super excited to start creating with it because I think it's going to be really fun. So, welcoming window kit for March. And the kit is $47. It includes a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to have some fine art floral um, paper. You're going to get a half a pack cut to four by six. Linen thread, rhinestone jewels, I'm going to throw in a pack of mini dimensionals, and also, I think it's time for a new chamois. Everybody needs a new chamois. When you order the kit, you're going to get a new chamois, because look how gross mine are. I want a new one. I think everybody should have one. So, you order that kit. That's what's going to be included. There's going to be enough pre-cut cardstock pack for eight cards. You're going to get four different designs and you make two of each. The $47 does include shipping and tax. You can also add on the bundle, the stamp set and the dies for an additional, and I'm looking at my big screen over there because that's how cool I am, <laughs> um, for an additional something. I don't even know. Did I forget to put it in here? $58. There you go. For an additional $58, you can add on the stamp set and the dies. Um, this kit will go out of here the week of April 5th. And I want everybody to know this is a pre-order. I hate it when I forget to say that because people are like, where's, where's, my, where's my online class? And I'm like, nope, not till next week. So... Just know that it goes out of here on the 4th that, or the 5th or something. Yeah, the 5th. Um, Butterfly Brilliance online class. What? We're going to be using that new collection tonight to make some really pretty cards. That is the online class that I, sh that I do in collaboration with my friends Barb and Dina. So I do two online classes a month, okay? The window, uh, welcoming window is my kit class. And now this Butterfly Brilliance is my online class with Barb and Dina. The other one is just me. I used to do it with Ashley Pfeiffer, remember? And then this one is the Butterfly Brilliance is with Barb and Dina. So there's been some confusion because if you get a membership to Stamp Happy Academy, or if you join my team and place your first discount order, you get a free membership. But if you have a membership to Stamp Happy Academy, um, people are saying, is this the class that you're going to put on Stamp Happy Academy? Both of my classes go on Stamp Happy Academy. Barb also has a kit class, and she's in on this Butterfly Brilliance with me. And Dina has a kit class, and she's in on the Butterfly Brilliance. So you get four online classes a month. Now, if you want the pre-cut cardstock and the product bundles with them, you're going to continue to order from my blog. Just like always, it's $47 for the kit. Okay, that's a really good deal. But if you just want the PDFs for the online classes and you want to go through all the labor of cutting your own cardstock, it's much nicer when I do it, you can get yourself a subscription to Stamp Happy Academy for $19.95 a month. That gives you access to four online classes every month. It's awesome. Okay, next up, um, Butterfly Brilliance. Oh, and the Butterfly Brilliance, you have the option to add on the Many Messages Bundle. You guys, we are, we've made all of our cards now for that um, online class. And page 51, hang on, I'm going to show this to you. Oh, that's not crud. That's not where it is. See, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read the little numbers. I'm just lying. Um... Oh, that was the, I read under it. Page 35. Page 35. Look at this and this die. Where are we? Right there. This die cuts out every single one of these with one pass through your die cutting machine. A lot of people thought that this was going to be really hard and it wasn't going to work right. And oh my Lord, you know, it looks too good to be true. So it must be. Let me tell you, it is not too good to be true. 
it cuts out the whole thing just like clockwork, perfect every time. Um, and we're using this in the class. So if you want to, you can, um, you can, I just read a question here. If you want to, you can add that on to the Butterfly Brilliance. Now, somebody just asked me if I cut out the butterflies. Nope, not a chance. <laughs> I draw a line there. Okay, so in order to do this class, you need to have everything that I've listed in option number one, which includes the stamp set, some ribbon, faceted gems, and you need the designer series paper. I don't provide that. You can order it with option number one and get the class for free and the pre-cut cardstock pack as a bonus with option one, and that's like $107 for all the goodies. Option number two is faceted gems and nine card pre-cut cardstock pack along with the white metallic edge ribbon. So go to my blog, www.stampabub.com. Click on online classes. Scroll down to see online classes. Click on that. It'll give you all the details. Ooh, Jean's getting the many messages bundle soon. So if the die is included in the bundle that I'm using for the classes, you need it. And so you die cut. But I do provide you with scraps if we're using cardstock for die cutting. So just know that. You'll, you'll have everything you need. Okay. One last thing, you guys. I had somebody place an order, I don't know if it was last week. Let me see if I can pull it up on my screen here. It was um, for $155.80. And if that was you that placed an order for $155.80, you have selected no contact on your customer profile. And what that means, I'm looking for it here right now. No contact. Yep, here it is. It was on March 2nd. What that means is that I don't know who you are. So I have a promotion going on right now. If your order is over, I think, $75, you're going to get an exclusive tutorial using the Sand and Sea suite of products. I can't even send it to you because I don't know who you are. So contact me if you placed an order on March 2nd for $155.80. I think that's it, you guys. Who is ready for some prizes? Uh, let me find them. So first of all, do you remember? Hang on. I'm looking. I'm looking. Here we go. Remember this? card challenge. This is a layout. And before I left for my vacation, I had a card challenge for everybody. So if you made a card with this layout, you posted it on our Facebook page right here. And I said I would enter you in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. Here are the cards that I made on my last Facebook Live for the challenge using that Bloomin' Paper. Oh, so pretty, right? And then, oops, here's one more. Everybody said this was their favorite. Well, not everybody, but a lot of you. Matching envelopes, gorgeous. So I went through all the cards and um, bum, 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 bum. we had 67 cards submitted for this layout. Holy cannoli, right? That's awesome. You guys really rocked it. And there wasn't a single card that was submitted that I wasn't like, wow, that's cool. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like what they did there. I mean, they're just all so pretty. So thank you so much for participating. I was really excited to see how many of you did. And isn't it fun doing a challenge like that? There's like so many different looks and ideas and so many different takes on things like that. So, ah, oh, Lois, she's been hemming prom dresses and forgot about the challenge. I'm sorry. Um, Jessica, where did I get my shirt? You know, I think I bought it at Myers a couple years ago. So like it's either a year or two old. So yeah. But um Maurice's usually has shirts like this, similar. There you go. Okay, anyways, back to our winner. So I put everybody's name, I use random.org and I say that there's, you know, 67 people and then I tell it to pick a number. And the winner is Sherry Simon of Spokane, Washington. Congratulations. You were the winner in the drawing. What is she going to get? Well, 
This is my Artistry Blooms pre-cut cardstock pack, okay? And this has all the pre-cut cardstock to make nine cards. I am going to email the PDF file for this Artistry Blooms online class and send her this pack so she can make nine cards. Congratulations, Sherry Simon of Spokane, Washington. That will be on its way in the mail tomorrow. Next up, we have another drawing for commenting on my last Facebook Live. And I am going to be giving away this beautiful ornate garden ribbon combo pack. Very, very pretty ribbon. I really like this ribbon. It's easy to work with and tie bows and knots and it's just pretty. For commenting last time, our winner is Kate Sicard. Congratulations, Kate. Oh, and I think Kate is from Nina, Wisconsin. I think. Um, this will be on its way in the mail to you tomorrow. Then for sharing my video last time, you guys can click on that share button right now and share my video to your profile. All you got to do is click on share and tell it to go. Um, that really helps me grow my business and I really appreciate your help with that. Now, um, I have donated by Ingrid Herring is so happy together. This was one of our celebration sets last year. And so Ingrid had an extra one and she donated this. And I am going to use this for the sharing of the video last time. Trisha Dorton, you are the winner of this adorable stamp set. And I will have that in the mail for you tomorrow. Congratulations. Next up, we have the press on stamp set. I love this. I did an online class with this one too. This is just a really fun little stamp set. And for placing an order since the last Facebook Live, I also have a drawing for that. This beauty is going out to Donnie Drew. Congratulations, Donnie. I know you're going to love this. So should we have a little unicorn action? Do you guys want to see my little pot of goodness? This is my little pot of goodness in here. Oh yeah, don't forget, we have tiny hands. Yeah, I love the tiny hands. Okay, so there we go. I think that we are going to be ready to start stamping. Are you guys ready to stamp? Oh, one last thing, give me a thumbs up. Click on that, click on that thumbs up. That really helps me out too with the Facebook analytics. And if you're watching later on um, YouTube, ring that bell. That'll notify you when I have a new video available. And uh, if there's any thumbs up, oh, yeah. you can click on YouTube. Give me that too. Be nice. <laughs> it really does help me out and I do appreciate it. Okay, I think, let me get all this stuff out of my way. We are ready. So what am I making for you tonight? Well, I told you that we're doing ice cream, right? Um, ice cream and butterflies. That's on the agenda tonight. Oh, look at all those thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. You're wonderful. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to do the ice cream cards or, I'm sorry, I said I picked up the wrong one. Never mind, I don't even know what I'm talking about. We're going to be using this punch, and a funny story. This is called the double oval punch, and the funny story is, what is it? It's a double oval, but I so can't remember that that I had to write it on the end. Like, every time I have to look it up to make sure I'm calling it the right thing, it's so pathetic. We're going to be using the butterfly bouquet collection tonight and have you guys seen this butterfly bijou designer series paper <gasps> this is dripping with deliciousness i absolutely love the pretty soft bold colors love it love it love it As I'm looking at this embossing folder, I'm really hoping that I didn't make this card for you guys yet. <laughs> I don't think I did. 
When you go on vacation, sometimes it sucks your brains out. I'm just going to say it. I'll put it right out there. Okay. We're going to flip the camera around and start stamping. Because while I'm fun, that is what you're here for, right? And I feel that my phone is extraordinarily hot, you guys. So, I am thinking... Get yourself a drink. I am thinking what I need to do right now is go get a fan. So hang tight. Yeah, my phone feels just like super duper hot, like whoa hot. So I got all these little dealies that I bought. Um, I think Mary Lynn Cox bought me this, and it's just a little, it's a little fan that plugs into your USB port. I'm going to hook this up here. I hope it doesn't make too much noise. So it's kind of blowing on my phone, and I think I'm going to have to go get a new phone tomorrow. What do you guys think? I think that's what's going to have to happen. Let me make sure it's, you can probably hear it fall. Okay, I think we're good. Sorry about that. But yeah, I don't know why my phone keeps overheating. Okay, butterfly bouquet oh my goodness so so pretty and then here's a better look at that butterfly bijou designer series paper now i'm also using the double oval punch with the oval occasions and i just picked a sentiment out of here for these cards you could actually use anything but you get these two together in a bundle you get a 10 percent discount when you order the punch with the coordinating stamp set and then, of course, we've got the Dandelion 3D embossing folder. You're going to love that. It's so pretty, and it's so underused in my office. So, first thing I want to share with you guys. Oh, hang on. Um, huh. <laughs> I got out all that stuff and made these cards today, but I never took my... Where's my butterfly dies? Here they are. Okay, so with the butterfly dies, these are called, by the way, Brilliant Wings dies. You get all of these detailed ones that are super, super pretty, right? And then you also get this, this one, and then you get all of these little elements, these little hash lines, these little bricks, a couple butterflies, and some little, like, magic sprinkles, <laughs> die cuts, I don't know what else to call it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you on the designer series paper. So these are all the patterns of the paper, right? You get eight sheets of each one of these patterns and they are so pretty, it's just incredible. Eight sheets of each one. Now, what I always tell you guys, and I say this in all um, sincerity, your life will be happier. If you find a designer paper that you really like, order two packs of it, then you won't have to feel chintzy about using it because I would always hoard the paper because I didn't want to run out of that one pattern that I knew if I used it all up, I wouldn't have it and then there I sit, right? If you order two packs of the designer paper, you don't feel that way. And you'll actually use it. And I'm not kidding about that. I've had several of you guys who have come back to me and said, you are absolutely right, Kelly, that because I had two packs of paper, I'm actually using the paper. So it's kind of funny. But it's true. Okay, so one really cool thing is that this paper, these dyes fit right on these butterflies. Is that not totally cool? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get my, I gotta find my other plates. I have some nicer plates than this, but I don't know where they went. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line these butterflies up so I can cut out all six of them at once. But the neat thing about this is, is that once you cut the butterflies out, they're all individual, they're not attached. You don't have to like then trim them apart once you've die cut them. Here we go. Oh, and you guys, I forgot to tell you, I went shopping with Fred. Fred is my handyman, the, the man who made this um, my new office. We went shopping because we're going to do our bathroom next. 
And I know it seems kind of crazy, like we're getting a lot of work done in our house, and we are, because it's been neglected for a very long time. Look at this, look at how pretty this is. Are you ready? It's stuck to my tape here, there we go. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. All of these butterflies, perfectly cut, fall right out. I'm in heaven! There we go. Now, I would save this to use these edges because I'm just, that's the way I am. I couldn't possibly throw this beautiful paper away because I might need those edges for the insides of the cards, right? And then this fits right back on here. And we can throw that right back in here so I don't lose anything. So, as I was doing this today, I decided that it would be really cool if I could use up all those butterflies, right? Hang on, I lost my little pack of stuff. Um, huh. Hang on. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm like, where did all my cardstock go? Okay, so here comes all of our bits and pieces. We've got Just Jade is going to be our card base. I've got a scrap of basic white and a scrap of Just Jade. I've got a beautiful little envelope there with some very pretty paper and also a white four by five and a quarter. This one is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. Yeah, somebody just said they hope they offer the magnetic plate soon. Yeah, I do too. They had some quality issues with it and they had to pull it because Stampin' Up! wants to make sure that you guys are getting what you're paying for, right? Quality product. So they had to pull it off the market until they can get a problem figured out. So I've got all these pretty little butterflies here, so I thought this paper would be perfect to put on the flaps of my envelopes. So I'm just going to add some glue here. And this is two and a half by six. Lined up there. I was um, surprised to see Haley and Jared today actually went skiing. Jared's birthday was a couple weeks ago and I bought him a gift card to a ski hill that's a couple hours from here. And so Haley and Jared went skiing today and it was really quite nice out weather-wise. It's not freezy, freezy cold here in Wisconsin. And I saw Haley was um, videotaping Jared while he was skiing down the hill. So that was kind of neat. I was glad to see them doing that, right? Okay. Here's our pretty little envelope flap. And next, we're going to take this piece of basic white. And we're going to run it through this Dandy Lion 3D embossing folder. So I'm going to take this and run this through. Now this is a 3D folder, so you only use the gray plate on top with your um, stamp and cut and emboss machine. And then when you do that, this is what you get. And isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Do I have cords hanging around? Yeah, I see some cords and stuff. So anyways, okay, so what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna glue this layer Oh, look, I got a piece of fuzz on there. Oh, and then last night, when we got home from Molly's birthday party, I felt my hair, and I had something sticky in it, and Val got ice cream in my hair. <laughs> so, yeah, life of the granny, right? <laughs> okay, so here's our pretty card front. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our piercing mat and do a little bit of stamping. I am using Memento Black ink. I tried different colored inks um, for this card, and I just didn't like, I didn't, I liked black the best. That's what turned out the best for me. So I'm gonna punch that out with the oval punch. And what's it called? The double oval punch. I'll remember that until about an hour from now, and then I'll have to look at the end again. <laughs> It's very pathetic. And then I'm going to do Just Jade with the wavy oval, just like that. And let's get this closed up before we have an accident. Um, this is, like I said, these cards are super duper easy, but I think the really fun part is picking the butterflies 
and the colors that you want to use. Okay, I'm gonna add this right down here. And then we've got six butterflies here. And I think this is the one that I want to use on this card. So I'm going to take actually all of these and put dimensionals on the back of them so you can see six cards with all these butterflies. Because six cards is always better than one, right? <laughs> it's called grandma badges. Oh, <laughs> Donna says Val's ice cream in your hair is called the grandma badge. I will take it. <laughs> so funny. She loved the ice cream. Holy cow, that girl loved the ice cream. All right, here we go. Oops, I hear my computer isn't muted. Let me get that turned off. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take this butterfly and I'm going to add it right here. And like I said, these cards are really quick and simple. Uh, let me get my take your pick tool here. And now I've got some of the opal rounds. You could use any embellishment that you wanted, but I just thought that these would be really kind of iridescent-y and pretty and sparkly, magical like butterflies. I don't know, I always think the butterflies are just kind of magical, right? What do you guys think? Is that not really pretty? And simple. Now this is the Dandelion 3D folder. If you don't have that, you need it. It makes the whole card. Of course the butterfly is kind of important too, but it really does make the whole card. So now that we have all of these, what I did do is I made up a bunch of cards so we can just stick the butterflies on them. And we've got, this is our yellow. So I think I'm going to come right in here. And maybe we'll do our butterfly like this on this one. What do you think? Pretty? Then, let's see, we've got a pink one. That was so saffron, by the way. This is Blushing Bride. And I think I'll put my butterfly right there. And then we have, what is this one? This one is... This one has Pool Party and Misty Moonlight in it, and I think I will put that one right here. Next up, we have this one that is Pink and Poppy Parade, and I thought this would look pretty, just like that. And last but not least is this one, and I had to do a little mango. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? I just kind of went crazy, right? A little bit, of, little bit of crazy going on here today. I was gonna make one card for you and then I thought, well, I might as well use up all these butterflies. Yeah, and then here is all my matching envelopes. Now, I haven't seen my mom yet. I couldn't go visit her before we went on vacation because I kind of ran out of time. And you guys know that her birthday is coming up on April 15th. She's a tax baby. So all these sets of cards, and she told me she needed birthday cards, right? So all these sets of cards I'm going to make for my mom. I'm going to give them to her as part of her birthday present. And then, don't tell her, but I got her one of those fancy Pampered Chef um, wine bottle openers. I don't know what it's called. I don't drink wine. But wine bottle opener from Pampered Chef. They're, they're kind of spendy, but my mom is loves her wine, and I thought... I heard really good things about them. So that's what I bought her. So lots of cards and a fancy corkscrew daily whopper. Yay! Okay. Thank you guys so much. This, these were really, really fun. I do love them. Um, next up, we are going to... Oh, I know. Wait. I have some things to show you. What? Yeah, I've got some... We've got swap cards. I always forget to do this, you guys, and so I want to make sure that I do it this time. I've got all these swap cards to share with you using this butterfly bijou. Look how pretty that is, right? How about this one? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. 
And hang on a second. What about this one? Hi. That uses that gilded leafing. Whoa. Right? How pretty. Then here comes, let me get this one out of the bag. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, this is one of those fancy ones. This is one of those slidey deals. Look at that. And here's what that little die does. It gives like the little lucky things. We should make one of these, you guys. I haven't made one of these. We'll do that. We'll make one of these because it attaches to, this is a gate fold, and it attaches, and I know I've gotten a couple others like this too, and I said I was going to make them, but I didn't get to it yet. Look how pretty that is. Ah, there we go. Hang on. Oh, I can't make it work. Maybe we won't make this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> very, very pretty, right? Okay, what else do I have here? Here's another one. Let me get this out of here. This one's really pretty, too. Look at that. Gorgeous. Lots of Wink of Stella on there. That is so, so pretty. Yeah. We didn't even use the butterfly stamps. Um, let's see. What else do I have here? Oh, this is another pretty one. Look at that. The little vellum on there. I love vellum. Oh, look, it's fancy. Oh, look at that. Very, very pretty. Okay, we're going to move on now because it's butterfly time is over for today, folks. We're moving on to the ice cream because everybody loves some ice cream. So we'll set these right over here. We'll bring those back out before I let you go. And move this out of the way. Okay, ice cream time! Yeah. So when this set first came out, this this is a this is a whole like little suite of products. Okay, we've got our ice cream corner 12 by 12. We've got our sweet ice cream. We've got our ice cream cone builder punch, which is very fun. We've got our ice cream corner sprinkles. These are totally cool. Yeah, and this beautiful Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon. When this first came out, I immediately fell in love with it. But guess what? When I got it in, I don't know, November or December, I'm not into ice cream at that time of the year. <laughs> Sharon says, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Yes, exactly. So, it takes me a little while. Just like in September and October, I don't want to be making Christmas cards. I'm making fall, right? And in the middle of winter, December, January, I need to be making winter cards, not summer ice cream cards. So that's why it takes me a little while to get going on stuff. I just want you to know why I haven't touched this yet. But way back in November, I made some swap cards. And should I say, I, well, I did make some swap cards, but Haley designed the card that I'm going to share with you today because she was working for me way back when. All right. Oh, I gotta put this with that card. Hang on, I don't wanna get anything mixed up. So look at all this, look at all this crazy. We have a card base of Blackberry Bliss. And this is five and a half by eight and a half. And we're gonna fold that baby in half. And do a little bone folder. We've got the inside layer, basic white, four by five and a quarter. I've got a scrap that my friend wrote her phone number on. <laughs> I got a scrap of basic white. And then I've got these two pieces. And this one is one and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then we've got gold foil, two by three, one half by one and a half. And then all these little strips. So these are all these are all strips of the designer paper. And you guys know you get lots of strips left over when you start cutting up paper, right? So all of these little strips are as small as a quarter inch up to a half an inch. Oh, that one might even be three quarters. Let me look. 
Oh yeah, that's three quarters. So quarter inch all the way up to three quarters of an inch. And then what Haley did is she brought in quarter inch strips of terracotta tile, um, old olive and Bermuda Bay. So what a mess it looks like, right? <laughs> no, I guarantee you it's gonna be really pretty. We're gonna take our Bermuda Bay ink. I've got Bermuda Bay and Blackberry Bliss. And I'm going to first of all stamp with the Bermuda Bay this really fun, pretty, fun font of Happy Birthday. I just love that font. Okay, and then we are going to take our Blackberry Bliss and we're going to. Uh, Kathy Spencer says her husband is messing with the Wi-Fi. You tell him to get off the Wi-Fi now. Kelly is on. He wants to stay married to you. He needs a listen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't say that to him. <laughs> it would be fun though, wouldn't it? Okay, so I'm just going to do these little sprinkly dots. And I stamped once full strength and then again not full strength. That makes sense? Second generation, just like that. Okay, then on our inside layer, oh, I think I'm gonna wash that off too. Let me get this cleaned off. On our inside layer, I am going to do the Bermuda Bay, and it says, treat yourself. And as I was choosing my inside sentiment, I thought, but I'm not making this a gift card holder, and it says treat yourself. And then I thought, why do we think we have to put a gift in that says treat yourself, when in fact, I wanna make sure everything's still working here. In fact, it does say treat yourself, not I'm gonna treat you, so you go get yourself something for your birthday. <laughs> and that made me laugh then. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that, and maybe one more. There, that's kind of busy, isn't it? I don't like that. So, since we always have, we're gonna make them treat themselves again, because <laughs> I'm not buying them a present. And now I'm just gonna stamp off with all of these, because I think that was a little overpowering. That looks better, don't you think? That looks better than that. That was just too much. And sometimes we do that, right? Okay, hang on. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to get out scraps to do that. Well, I got the paper right here, so don't worry. Um, we're going to glue this on the inside. We're going to cover up this ugly side. <laughs> Things don't always work out, right? Get this in here. Perfect. Oh, you know what I was going to do? Oh, this three-quarter inch piece is from my white layer. That'll work. Okay, I usually glue that in before I do anything else. I'm going to put this inside my card just to spruce it up a little bit. There we go. Pretty, right? Love this paper. Did I show this to you guys? This paper is amazing. Okay, and while you guys are drooling over the amazing paper, this we're going to have to fussy cut, not going to lie but it's not hard. And so I just kind of leave a white border around things. And if you, if you ever watch somebody who's good at cutting stuff out, you're really um, moving the paper with your left hand. Guide it around where you need it to be. And just keep kind of moving it and wiggling it so it looks like You're just cutting around the outside. Get rid of those pieces if they get in your way like I just did. But this is really um, a very trendy little thing to do with sentiments, is to cut them out like this. And I really love the look of it. What do you think? Easy peasy? It wasn't hard at all. Okay, so we're gonna set that down. We'll set that right there. Um, I need to find my ice cream paper because 
we're going to do some punching. And I forgot to bring that, those pieces out. So, let's see. I need this. And I need this. We're going to take our ice cream punch and we're going to punch out our sugar cone. Oh, I had several of those while I was in Florida, not going to lie, because <laughs> I do love me some ice cream. Steve really, really likes key lime pie, so that was fun for him to uh, get lots of key lime pie, too. And then I am going to... I'm trying to figure out where I want my ice. I think right here, that looks delightful. So I'm gonna punch out the top of my ice cream cone. Okay, and we're going to glue this together. I find it's just easier to glue it together and then stick it on your card. So we're gonna do, whoops, that. Ah, oh, look how pretty that ice cream is. Isn't that pretty? And then we're going to put dimensionals on our ice cream cone. Just like that. We're going to set that aside. We're going to glue this layer onto our gold foil layer. Now Haley is really into gold. like. She was looking at kitchen ideas the other day, and she's going to have gold handles on her cupboards. Like, super pretty. But she's really, really into the gold. So here comes our cute little ice cream cone. We're going to just put that right on here. Isn't that cute? And then that little strip of gold is going to go behind this piece, but we need to flag that end first. Here we go, and here we go. That looks great. And we're gonna, ooh, ooh, I cut my happy birthday too small. Dang it. Um, we'll figure something out, don't worry about that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our card front and we're gonna add these strips. Now this is a great, great way to use up all of your pieces. The first thing you wanna do, the first um, the first layer that you're going to do is you are going to take one of these. Now they have to be about seven, seven and a half inches for it to work, okay? But I'm going to start from one tip to the other tip with my first piece. And I think I'll use this side. So I'm just going to put some glue and I'm going to go from one tip Oops. To the other end. And make sure you're covering up that corner, okay? There we go. Just like that. Okay. And then we're just going to start filling in. Um, let's see. We can do... This is cardstock. And now you can put your glue on here. You can actually just put a bunch of glue on here because... We're gonna keep adding strips for quite a while. Quite a ways. There we go. Oh, I hear somebody's dog barking. That's interesting. And then we'll do this one. Add that in there. And then we'll do this one. Add that in there. And then, let's see. We got old olive here. Let's put some down here. Got the little old olive. That's cardstock, not designer paper. So we've got all three of our pieces of cardstock on there. Here comes this one. And then I think. Ooh, which one do I want to do? I think I want to do. This one, <laughs> it's kind of fun figuring which, where, why, how, that one right there. And then we've 
got two more here, and you just do as many as you need and want. Here comes this one. Oh, I think I should put this striped one in here first, because that's going to show up better. And one more. Here we go. Ah! Now, we're going to turn this over, and we're going to cut this off. So you just use your card base as your guide. like that. Let me do this. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, this week Anna had to go pick Molly up from school earlier this week because she like got hit her head really hard on the slide. Brr. Now she had headaches for several days, so she probably got like a mild concussion, poor kid. Okay. Look at how pretty that is. What do you guys think of that? Isn't that kind of neat? Yeah, okay, so now we are going to take this layer and we're going to put it right over here. Remember, this is Haley's design. I have nothing to do with it, but she sure did a good job. We're going to put that right here. Um, then we've got our little cutout piece. Did you see where that strip? Oh, here's our strip of gold. Here comes our strip of gold. And, hang on a second, I'm going to fix my little problem here. Alright, <laughs> so I'm going to grab my mini dimensionals, and I took this banner off my other card because I goofed mine up. So when you cut this out, you want to leave a little bit more room around your happy birthday. See the difference? I'll use this one on something else, but I need just a little bit more thickness to this. So make sure you leave a little bit more white space. And now I'm going to put some dimensionals on it. And thank you, Claudia. I'm happy to see you on here tonight. And Peggy, thank you. It really is pretty. Haley's a very good designer. I wish I could afford to have her help me all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I would love to have her here because she's, she's very talented. Um, okay, next I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on here. So I'm going to add some glue to the back of it. We're going to put this on right here. And I want it to come all the way out to the edge here. That looks good. Here comes our banner. I'm going to put that right over this gold piece, just like that. Ah! Yeah. Okay. How pretty is that? What do you guys think? Next, we're going to put on a little bit of ribbon. So I'm going to grab... One of my bow makers here. Now you guys saw that I have one of those handheld bow makers that I'm giving away. Um, I think my thing said with a hundred dollar order between now and the end, or the March 15th. Between March 1st and March 15th, every hundred dollar order is going to get one of those bow makers as a gift. So if you would like one of those, and maybe you were going to place a $60 order and then another big, uh, you know, another order later, you might want to wait and consolidate them, but do it before the 15th because then you'll get a free bow maker. Not one of these, it's a different one, and I'll show you guys how to use that one as soon as I get mine. Um, Dina's husband makes them with his 3D printer, so he's gonna, I'm gonna buy some from him to be able to give away as gifts, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so here comes our little bow, and I'm going to put that right down here. Just a really sweet little accent, right? And then we have, where are those little ice cream deal, these things? So then what Haley did is she took these, and 
she just put little dots of glue on here. And she added these little, oops, let me pull the lid off, added these little sprinkles. So there's one. Then here comes, I'm picking up like a ton of them at once. Here comes number two. Uh, let's see, we got a yellow one. Here comes an orange one. And again, I hope you guys can see the, how tiny my little dots are of glue. Now this is painstaking, right? This is, this is kind of putsy, but you don't have to do it if you don't want to. That's number one, but I think it really does add a lot. Uh, how about a yellow one? And it's a cute way to use these sprinkles, of course, because everything she does is cute, right? You know people like that? You kind of hate them just a little bit. I'm just kidding. I don't hate my kid. <laughs> well, sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, hang on. I got glue on my finger now. That didn't work. <laughs> piece here. There's no kid hating. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jewel says, oh no, who said that? Lind Lydia says, so many cute finishing touches. It really is, isn't it? Look at how cute that is. That is just stinking adorable. So there is one. I'm going to save this because I did cut it out. <laughs> and I will use it. I'm gonna put that right in there. Okay, so here is one ice cream card, and if you guys have time, what time is it? It's only 8.05. I think we have enough time for another ice cream card that's a fun fold. What do you guys think? Are you up for that, or have you had enough of me? Are you like, oh my gosh, Kelly. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> okay. Let me get my butterflies out of here. Next up, where's my other ice cream? Oh, I've got a bunch of ice cream cards to share with you guys, too. So, we'll set this one right there. Get this out of the way. Here comes some more pretty. Thank you guys so much. Oh, you know what? You could put some of those little dots on the ice cream cone. That's a really good idea. Thank you, Kathy. I like that idea a lot. So now we're going to do a little stamping with this fun fold and this set. Oh, and did anybody ask if I found my planner yet? Yeah, because the answer is uh, no. <laughs> I did that. Yeah, so disappointing. Okay, we're going to be using that again. We're not using the sprinkles on this one. And let's put that away. Here comes our cheat sheet with our dimensions on it because Lord knows I can't remember nothing. <laughs> all right, here comes all of our layers. I'm gonna move this out of the way now. And our little stamp set. And I think we need Bermuda Bay here, maybe, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna grab my trimmer. What I really think happened to my planner is I think I set it on my garbage can. I have a garbage can, you know, like kitchen garbage can. I think I set my planner on the edge of it and I think it must have like just kind of slid down in there and I didn't realize it and I think I must have thrown it away because I still haven't been able to find it. Okay, this piece is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And we are going to score this at, let me make sure that, dimension that's right yep we're gonna score this at five and a half okay old olive next one this piece is eight and a half by three and a quarter and we're gonna score it at four and a quarter so the first one scored at five and a half this one scored at 
four and a quarter. And this is gonna fold in half. We're done with this now. There's the bone folder right here. Here we go. So we're gonna burnish that edge good. We're gonna burnish this edge. And now we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Uh, where did my piercing mat go? Right here. Okay, this little white piece is two and a, uh, uh, mm, yeah, two and a half by three and a half. And then we've got this basic white that's three by four. So the smaller one is going to be the one that is on the front. Yep. And we're gonna stamp some popsicles because these are really fun. Oh, if I forgot to tell you, if you plan on placing an order, this is my current host code. Just so you know, when it asks you for a host code, that's the one you're gonna use. First things first, I've got the thank you that comes in the ice cream stamp set. And I'm gonna stamp that with black memento ink. And we're gonna stamp that right at the bottom of the smaller white layer. Oh, I love the fonts on these. They're so pretty. And then, let's just move that. I've got Highland Heather. Oh, I need Blackberry Bliss back. And Blackberry Bliss. And then I've got Pool Party in Bermuda Bay. I'm going to move these cards before I throw them in the ink. <laughs> I know me pretty well. <laughs> All right. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the roundy part of the popsicle first. And that's always going to go in your lighter color. So I'm going to stamp that right up here. So that's my Highland Heather. Oh, you know what I forgot to mention, you guys? The retreat. We have a virtual, spring virtual retreat coming up on the March 27th, which is a Saturday. Oops, wrong color. Um, I'm going to be closing down that registration earlier than expected because we've had, I've had like an overwhelming response to it. But if you still want to be, be part of that, you will want to register for that retreat in the next few days if you haven't. It's $129 and you get $100 in a beautiful swag box filled with tons and tons of um, $100 worth of product. So, And there's going to be 18 cards included in the pre-cut cardstock packs that go with the classes for the for the retreat. It's a very, very cool. All right, now I'm gonna stamp this right there. I didn't give that a lot of thought, so don't don't overthink things. I just kind of grabbed it and stamped it. <laughs> I like to do things that way. And then I've got the um, Blackberry Bliss for this one. Let's see if I can do the same thing here. Yay! Okay, and then I'm gonna clean that off. And now we've got the little stick we're going to use cinnamon cider for that. So we need our little stick for our ice creams. And that works out. That's a, like a perfect color for the stick. And then this little squiggly line here. That, oops, we're supposed to use black. Hang on. Oh, by the way, um, Haley made this card too. There we go. It's just some little... Some little wood grain going on in those sticks. That turned out good. Oh, and we need sprinkles. Where did my sprinkles go? Hey there. Let me clean those too. We're gonna do some Blackbird Bliss sprinkles on this one. And some Bermuda Bay sprinkles on this one. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Um, on our inside layer, I'm going to use Bermuda Bay, and this is the 3x4, because I'm inside, and I'm going to put that right up there. Is that straight? Yep, that looks good. And now we're going to bring in, let's get all of this out of the way. And 
all this fun stuff. We don't want to wreck it, right? So let me close up all the ink pads. Oops. Thank you guys so much. Love the hearts. Okay. Whew. Now, we are going to take this one and you're going to turn this like this. We need designer series paper. So we're going to use these cute, adorable little popsicles. And we're going to put that right in here. And you want to make sure you're paying attention to which way your popsicles are going because you don't want your popsicles to be upside down. That's just not as cute. Well, it's kind of cute, but not as cute as this, okay? So we're going to do that. This is four by five and a quarter, by the way. Now, this one is three by four. And we're going to, again, pay attention to our popsicles. Hang on, I just got ink or glue on my finger. And we're going to fold this flap down and we're going to put this right here. Now remember, all of these dimensions are going to be on my blog as soon as I can get the photos done, edited, watermarked, all the things. I will have these um, posted on my blog. This little piece right here, we are going to take that You're So Cool and we've got three quarters by three inch piece of the designer series paper. You can use whatever side you want. I'm going to use the polka dotty side. And we're going to put that right down here. I see it's a little bit long. I see my daughter has my habit too. I always cut just a little bit long with those layers because, oh, when they're too short, it makes me crazy. Next up, we're going to do this. Okay. Then we're going to go close this. And we're going to use the other side of this paper. We're going to use the polka dot paper. So we're carrying that polka dot. I love this side too, right? <laughs> we're carrying that polka dotted paper to the inside. So that, whoops, hang on, I just moved it like really bad. So that really carries that on to the inside. I like that look a lot. And then here comes our popsicles. And we're going to put this right in the front. This is just the, uh, such a fun thank you card, right? Now we're going to take our ribbon. Now this, this ribbon, um, I believe this ribbon might be on back order, but it's I think it's coming in soon. So if it is on back order, I apologize. But this is a Blackberry Bliss. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Who knows? My paper stretcher. <laughs> I wish there was such a thing, Catherine. <laughs> Francie Freeberg, did you get my email, Francie? I emailed you. If you didn't get that, check your emails. I've got you um, registered. Well, I don't have you registered. You signed up to register for the retreat, but I haven't heard from you since then. So you need to check your emails because I'm going to be shutting that down pretty soon. Get start cutting paper. We have, um, gosh, there's 12... Yeah, there's 12 cards for the retreat, and then if you signed up before the 26th, you get an additional six cards with a, um, the Berry Blessings class, so 18 cards for each person. That's a lot of card stock to cut. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now we're going to take this, and you're going to leave it closed, and we're going to put this right in the middle of this layer, and this is just the easiest way to... Get this centered just like that and look at this there is our cute little fun fold and so simple right like I can see this with all of our sweets with all like the butterflies maybe I'll make one with the butterflies and the designer paper so cute I love this and again way to go um, the kid my kid <laughs> is she's definitely got some talent I'll tell you that way more than I have that's for sure but how cute are these I love this ice cream set and now that I'm ready to make cards 
that have um, ice cream themes because I want summer really quick. <laughs> I will make some ice cream cards. But look at my pretty butterflies. Wow, we did a lot tonight, didn't we? And our pretty little envelope flaps. Make an envelope flap to match your ice cream. And again, you guys, this butterfly paper as well as the ice cream corner designer paper. Wow, that's really crooked. Um, this, you should get two packs of this too because otherwise... Otherwise, you won't use it. You'll be chintzy about it. Wendy says, holy fun fold, Batman. I know, right? This is like the easiest. It also has a lot to do with the colors and the designer paper that makes it so pretty. So yeah, Jackie loves this fold. It is. It's just super duper simple. Yeah. Hi, Connie. <laughs> Julie's done this fold many times and loves it. I do too, Julie. It's just one that I always come back to. It's really pretty. Cheryl says she's in, interested in the retreat. Cheryl, if you go to my blog, www.astampabove.com when we're finished here, scroll down until you see uh, flowers in a pitcher, like a vase pitcher. It'll say virtual spring retreat on it. And there's a link right there that you click on it. You can go and sign up. You can pick and choose what you want to add to the retreat. We've got four different product bundles that are available. You can add those on to the price. Um, if you join my team, you get a $10, $10 discount, so that's cool. The box will have $100 worth of product in it for $129. And remember, shipping is so expensive right now, so you're going to get um, 12 cards in a pre-cut cardstock pack. Four different online classes with three cards each. Um, Dina, Barb, and I are each going to do a live featuring another project that's totally separate from all of this. There's, there's going to be bingo Friday night. We're having a card contest. Um, there'll be mystery stamping. It is just so much fun, you guys. I can't even tell you. But if you're going to register, you need to do it soon because I am going to shut registration down pretty soon so that I can start working on all of these wonderful projects. What isn't reorderable? Um, I don't know. Something's probably on back order. I just looked at the ice cream bundle. The punch and the stamp set is available. It is on low inventory. So if you would like to get this with that adorable little stamp set that I can't even find right now. It's here someplace. Nope, it's not. I don't know what I did with it. But if you would like to get that, you need to order it soon because I don't know if um, we're going to be... Oh, here it is. I don't know if this is... We don't know yet what's going to be going into the annual catalog. So this could be retiring. I have no idea with the Spring Mini. But yeah, so if you want it, um, order it now because it's on low inventory. Okay, and I see Diana's asking the dimensions on this. So I am going to put my dimensions right here so you can see them. When this video, when I'm done with this video, you can fast forward right to here and see it. But I will be typing these up and putting them on my blog with still photos and a complete shopping list. So you know all the colors that I use, the colors of ink, the colors of cardstock, the names of all the products if you'd like to order them. Remember, I always appreciate your orders, you guys. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you commenting. I appreciate you sharing this video. Please share it. All of those things help me. And I also really appreciate your orders. They're what keeps me in business and keeps free videos coming your way. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I just feel so honored that you spend Sunday nights with me. So I just want you to know that. But um, okay, you guys want to see some more ice cream cards? Because I have some swap cards I can share with you. I have some more really cool ones. I think I'll be making some more of these um, to just share some more ideas with the ice cream. So if you don't have the ice cream bundle yet, you may want to consider getting it because I will be sharing some more really cool things. Okay, here we go. So um, one of my team members has been helping me, and she actually left her whole huge box of swap cards here. <laughs> I'm going to 
take complete advantage of it. Thank you, Kathy Miller. Look at how cute this is. This is made by Lisa Nealon. She is also one of my team members. She's very talented. Look at how cute that is. Ha! Ah, love it, Lisa. Super duper cute. These are those nested rectangle dies. Love them. Um, here comes another one. I thought this was just really pretty. It's a very simple, but the tag punch is punched on the top here with the designer paper. And I love the stacked ice cream cones with that baker's twine. This one is just a classic layout, but it really grabs me. I think it's the color combination of how rich and delicious that ice cream looks. But the cider cinnamon ribbon matches perfectly. Very cute. Oh, here comes a, let me get this out of the plastic. You can see it better. Yeah, so Francie, the ice cream set, when I looked right before I came on here live, because I thought, why should I demonstrate cards if you can't get the product? I know how frustrating that is. But um, the ice cream set said it's on low inventory, but it's available. So get your butt out there and order your set. <laughs> Look at how cute this is. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? Yeah, I'm kind of looking at how this is all... Oh, this does things. So hang on. I don't know what it does yet, but <gasps> look at that. Okay, so this is raised up on dimensionals, and this is a little easel card. Look how cute that is. Yeah, look how sweet. <gasps> That's so cute. Who made this? Wendy Lee. I love her. That is really, really cute. <gasps> well, maybe we'll have to make one like this. Okay, these are Kathy's. i got to put them back in the plastic. Oh, well, maybe she doesn't. Oh, I don't think she cares. I'll just give her a clear envelope back. This is one made by um, one of my team members, Jody. She makes beautiful cards, too. And again, very simple. Quick and easy. little strip of designer paper right there. Love it. And another one. This card is made by Becky Morris. Look at how cute that is. She's got circles. She stamped a sentiment on these circles and she also glued those little dots on. Very, very cool. This one's pretty too. This Oh, this is by my friend Barb. Barbara. Here's Barb's card. Love this. Love these colors. This is the in color ribbon, the purple posy. It's just peeking out there a little bit. That's really pretty with some of the um, Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon. Love this, Barb. Love it. And I think that's it. Hang on now, because I have more cards that are mine. So, let me move these so I don't get Kathy's cards mixed up with mine. She needs her cards back, or I may get... See, Kathy's cards. I may get shot. <laughs> Hang on. I don't want to lose anything here. Okay, here comes some more. Look at this. <gasps> I love these dies. I need to use those. I haven't shown those to you guys yet. I'm excited to use those. I thought that was really cute. Oh, who made this? I don't know. Here's another really cute one. Ah, oh, center panel. I love that. Love, love, love it. Yeah, very pretty. Here's another one. I love these colors together. I would have never thought to put them together, but I think they're really, really pretty. Carrie, you must decorate the insides of your cards. It is a mandatory to watch me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You do what you need to do. But yes, it, it just really does give them that little extra something, right? Look how cute this is. Just the layers of the designer paper and then this rectangle in here. I would have never thought to do that, but it's stu stupid cute. Look at how pretty this is. I love these colors. <gasps> Look at how wide that is. That looks good gorgeous on there, doesn't it? Mm. Let's see. Here comes another center panel. I love this fun fold also. Always fun. And another one. Ooh, this is giving me some really good ideas. These are my cards, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ah, Catherine Anderson. I think Catherine's watching tonight. This is her beautiful card. I love how she put the little sprinkles right here, too. Isn't that pretty? And then here comes another one. Ah, who made this? I don't know, but there's a little decoration inside. Do we have anything on the inside here? Nope. 
<laughs> you're never required to decorate the insides on swap cards. Well, sometimes you are, but most of the time you're not. So that's why a lot of these never have decorations on the inside because they're swap cards. And I don't know if you know, but demonstrators are busy enough making swaps that <laughs> we don't need to do extra stuff. Okay, these are my cards. And... I think we're done, you guys. I think that's it. Is my phone still working okay? Yeah. Let me see how hot it is. <gasps> that fan that um, Mary Lynn gave me worked perfect to keep my phone cool, you guys. So maybe I don't need to get a new phone. You know what makes me mad about getting a new phone? I don't even know how old this one is, but it's a few years old, and I can still remember the exact stinking price of it because it was $964 and I just wanted to poke my eyes out at that price. But I had to get a ton of memory space in my phone because I use it to shoot all these videos and I was having so many problems. So I, um, that's why I paid so much money for my phone because it's huge. It's got more memory than my um, laptop has. But yeah, it just really, it really burned my butt to have to spend that kind of money for a stupid cell phone. So I don't want to get a new one. And plus, you know what a hassle it is, right? If you get a new phone, you got to learn all the new things and you got to download all the new things and you got to, ugh, gosh, I don't need that. Ah, I wonder why this one is like, this one looks a little deformed. I'm going to do a little surgery on it. I don't like that one. You guys have no idea the pickiness that goes behind. This goes on behind the scenes here. Like, I want it to look fabulous. Okay, there we go. That that one had a little, like, growth on it. <laughs> had a little growth on it. I didn't like it. There we go. Okay, you guys. I am going to be taking pictures and I will upload these to my blog. You'll find that right here. Again, if you need to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. If your order is under $150, use this host code. If it's over $150, do not use the host code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have them. Go to my blog. Check out the Spring Virtual Retreat. This is virtual. It's all online. It's going to be happening all day Saturday, March 27th. Now, if you're not available on Saturday, March 27th, don't worry yourself. All of it is going to be pre-recorded videos. The lives that are going to be taking place on the Facebook group will be posted to the group. You can come back and watch it and make your make and takes anytime you want. The only thing that you're going to miss out on is bingo if you can't make bingo Friday night. But it's just an added extra. It's, you didn't have to pay extra to play or anything like that. It's just an added extra little fun where there will be prizes. There are going to be prize patrols all day. Your swag box has over has exactly $100 in Stampin' Up! product in it. The price of the virtual retreat is $129. You're going to have 12 make and takes. If you registered before the 26th, you're going to get 18 make and takes because that was part of the deal. Um, a ton and a half of ideas, you guys. Amazing, amazing ideas. This is going to be so much fun. All right. If I miss anybody's questions, I'm really sorry. It, there's only so much space on here that I can see questions coming through, so sometimes I miss them. If you have a question that I didn't answer, please feel free to message me. You can email me at kelly at a stamp above .com. And as always, I had a fabulous time with you guys. I um, really appreciate you spending the evening with me and don't forget the tiny hands because yeah who doesn't giggle at tiny hands <laughs> I love them and as long as we're doing that we might as well have a little unicorn action there we go you guys have yourselves a wonderful evening I will be back next Sunday at 7 p.m. central time with some more stamping fun bye bye